Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is The Brittany Way and I am Brittany and I'm so glad that you are here with me today because I have an amazing new series that I'm so excited to share with you all. So this series is a part of my middle school to medical school, the Blueprint series and this is going to be all about the medical school interview. Um, for the next few videos I'll be talking about how to ace the interview, what you should wear to the interview, your medical school interview and what to expect. So if you're interested in knowing any of those things, then stay tuned because I have a lot in store for you. button it's either gonna be over here or over there or probably over here hit that subscribe button and um, also if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up share it like it spread it around I'm sure there's a lot of friends who could benefit from this that you know and um, just thank you for the support so finally you finished your primary and your secondary applications and you got an email saying that you've been invited to interview at the school of your dreams so what what do you expect what is it going to look like what do you need to know i went on a multiple different interviews and they were all a bit different so today i'm just going to talk to you about the university of florida college of medicine's interview because that one is the one that i remember the most and this is just to give you an idea of like what to expect it's not going to be the same at every school that you interview at so just keep that in mind so first things first, like when you are on your way to your interview, make sure you arrive about 30 to 45 minutes early just to give yourself some leeway in terms of traffic. If you get lost, if you don't know where to go, just have that buffer because you the, the first impressions are everything and you don't want to be that interviewer or interviewee that comes late. So once you get there, um, at UF they have um, light refreshments, they have like some bars, some snacks, um, some breakfast bars and like coffee and refreshments and you all just meet in a conference room with all of the other interviewees and that's your opportunity to just talk and be social and get to know some of the other people that are there um, interviewing as well and to get those like nervous jitters out and just to like relax and then after that you'll probably have like an info session um, or you'll be welcomed by the admissions committee they'll introduce themselves they'll probably give a powerpoint about the university um, the curriculum the their stats their uh, step one pass rates and so on and so forth so that's an opportunity for you to get to know the school all that they have to offer and also to ask questions which is very important that you ask questions if you have them um, then from there you're probably going to go on a tour of the university, so you'll get a tour of the campus, probably by medical students, most likely by the medical students, and they'll show you around the campus, they'll show you um, where the classrooms are, where your student lounge is, where the library is. If there's an associated hospital, then you'll get to see the hospital as well. So during the tour of the university, if you have any questions, it's important to ask like the medical students or your tour guides. The questions that you have be social talk to your interviewees your fellow interviewees if possible um, just be engaged like show that you're interested and you're you have questions you love the university you love what it looks like um, just the medical school students do that are or your tour guides do have a say um, in your interaction or they they can vouch for you if you're someone that stands out then they can definitely go to bat for you so just keep that in mind so then after, oh, also ladies and gentlemen, make sure you wear comfortable shoes because you're going to be doing a lot of walking and you want to make sure that your feet are comfortable and that you're not like getting any blisters or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now it's probably around the afternoon and most universities, at least all the ones that I went to, they have a lunch for the medical students and for the interviewees to chat and get to know each other 
And that really is the opportunity for you to really ask all of the questions that you want to ask to the medical students. They're the ones who are going through the curriculum. They're the ones who are there day in and day out. They really have that day in the life experience that you're looking for. So it's really important that you ask questions um, and just be social. Like, this is not just an opportunity for them to get to know you. It's for you to get to know where you're going to be spending the next four years of your life. So yes, take advantage of it. And then at least at UF, after the after lunch, then that's when you have your interviews. Now, every school is going to do the interview process different. Some schools, once you first get there, that's when you'll have the interview. Some schools will have it before lunch. Our school has it after lunch. And um, I believe it was after lunch. I don't know if it's changed, but that's when you will go and you will meet your interview interviewers. Um, and it varies from school to school. Some schools may have a one-on-one -on -one interview or two one-on-one -on -one interviews. Some schools may have a group interview or you know, there's a panel of um, interviewers and just you. Some schools will have the MMI, which is the multiple mini interview. And that's like a series of questions after questions that you answer. Um, and when I had that experience, it was with different interviewers. So it was like 10 stations with different questions and different interviewers each time. And so it all it all varies in that information to find out what type of interview your school has, the school that you're interviewing has, then you can go on um, AAMC.com and look at their MSAR, which is their medical school re admissions requirements, something like that. I'll put the link down low in the description box for you all so that way you can kind of go in knowing what exactly your interview is going to look like. Um, so yeah, that's when you'll have your interviews and that is like the, the meat and potatoes of the day. That is your time to shine. It's like everything, you're already there. They want you, right? If you made it to the interview, they want you. Now it's your time to really just be yourself and to just show them who you are. Like out off of that white paper with the black ink, like who are you? Um, and so just go in, be yourself. Just remember that it's conversational. You don't have to be a robot. You're, no one's a robot in real life. So just have fun, um, be yourself, be yourself. That's all I can say. And just, um, yeah, just have fun with it. And afterwards, just make sure you um, send a thank you letter or thank you note and just kind of like remember the things that you spoke about in each interview for your thank you letters later. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the first video in my middle school to med school, the blueprint series. And if you all have any more videos that you would like to see, please comment down below. Um, right now I'm focusing on the interviews because it is interview season. So I wanna make sure that you all get the information and make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where I'm gonna do a lot of my Q and A's to see what kind of answers or what kind of questions you all want answered. Okay guys, so remember, be you, be true, and always believe that you can do anything you put your mind to. Remember, no bees, no honey. Keep the hive alive. I'm out. Love you guys. Take one. <laughs> Stupid. I love you, babies. I don't even know how he's doing this right now because he just got up a 24 hour shift and had no rest. And he just loves me so much and is the best boyfriend, future husband, big daddy in the world that he just is here helping me direct and pretty. So he said cut, so I gotta go. I'm talking too much. You can record me sitting mine, my teeth. You did. Oh, it's still recording. Oh. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs>